What's up guys, this is Captain Ross, East Island Aquatics, and I'm here at Glare Central, right in my uh, living room. Uh, the glare is real, guys, you just have to stick with it. This is my Fluval Spec, uh, definitely one of my favorite tanks, and I've changed the scape a little bit to accommodate for all the moss. I've got a mixture of Java moss, Peacock moss, Christmas moss, and maybe a couple strands of Pelia. I don't think there's any left. But... Anyway, there's a lot of moss in here, so let's get right on to it. Like I said, the glare is real. It's not good. So what I did a while ago is I put a really nice fat female in here, like three or four months ago. And I had no male present in this tank. I wanted to see how long she can hold the fertilize, like she can keep her eggs fertilized and repeatedly giving fry. This is, she's on her third batch right now. And she's starting to lose some weight, but she's gotten a lot bigger, like, lengthwise. Definitely grown, but let's get right into the fry. One of the batch of fry, I moved to my brother's tank, which I'll have a video out. Um, I have a video out right now. Uh, either that or if I'll post it later. Who knows, I always post these in a random order when I never know what's out. So, yeah, lots of fry in here, smaller fry. The bigger fry moved up there. And then lots of ram's horn snails I was raising earlier. And then the moss carpet is all across the bottom of the tank and kind of fills this window here. Um, I've got contortionist valve making its way all the way around. Started back here, it just fills it. Uh, this light's really good. Duckweed made its way in there. I don't like duckweed, but it got in my tanks and then, yeah. I've got... Uh, Pothos plant or philodendron, either way, I've heard it called both things. I'm sure they're different plants, but nevertheless, it's in there, and it works really well. Um, this filter is amazing. Uh, the full system works very well. Uh, I still do the water changes weekly or bi-weekly, or like once a week or once every other week, or sometimes once every two weeks if I get really busy. But this tank definitely handles the... Uh, the brute a lot better than other tanks because it kind of cycles itself a lot so it works very well this moss has been growing since the beginning of time and the contortionist valve has as well so that's pretty much it for this tank kind of a guppy breeding extravaganza in here I might do endlers eventually I would love to do endlers if I can get my hands on a female that's my hardest thing. I always see males at my local fish store, but they never have females. I might get some panda guppies from Fort Wayne Fish Tanks. He was thinking of selling me some or giving me some or something. So if I can do that, I'll definitely do pandas in here. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Captain Ross out.